Hello. Welcome back to Today in Food, and this is part two of Future Food Tech Summit held in San Francisco, which attracted a record number of food tech startups. The summit brought together 1,700 entrepreneurs, investors, and food industry professionals from 52 countries and showcased incredible future food technology. Be sure to like and subscribe for new food news every day. Helena is a New York-based startup that is using microbial fermentation to produce immune-supporting glycoproteins found in breast milk for the adult and infant nutrition markets. CTO Dr. Anthony Clark said that Helena is focusing on immune-supporting glycoproteins, while other companies are supplementing infant formula with human milk oligosaccharides, HMOs. There is evidence in the literature to show that these immunoproteins can help the microbiome in the elderly, as well as in infants, and we've had a lot of inbound interest from ingredient providers and packaged food companies. Kinda Biotech is a German startup that aims to supply plug-and-play bioreactors for fungal biomass fermentation, enabling food manufacturers with a sugar-rich waste stream to use it as feed for mycelium, fungi, that they could then sell to pet food or human food markets. CEO Daniel McGowan von Holstein said that the company provides starter cultures, the hardware, and ongoing support to maintain and run the bioreactors. The supplant company showcased two products at the show, sugars from fiber and grain and stock flour, which incorporates fibers from wheat stalks as well as grains. The sugars from fiber is a low glycemic blend of sugars extracted from upcycled feedstocks that performs like table sugar but is metabolized more like fiber. Muri is a Czech cultivated meat startup that combines porcine cells and algae cells in its process. Using microalgae, the company can replace FBS, fetal bovine serum, in growth media, maintain 3D structures as a scaffold, and increase the nutritional value of the final product. We've experimented with minced products that are 75% pork cells and 25% algae, but the ratios are customizable. We plan to start in Singapore and Asia and then go to the U.S., said senior scientist Vladislav Stramiska. Foodberry is a materials tech startup that has a series of patents covering technology to create novel handheld snacks with edible coatings, from hummus bites with a red pepper skin to yogurt berries with yogurt on the inside and fruit on the outside. CEO Marty Colwey said, We're also able to coat cut fruits so we can have mango with a blueberry skin to make it last a bit longer. For the coatings, we can use alginates, citrus fibers, or mushroom fibers. Our IP is around how we layer these together. The Future Food Tech Summit provided an opportunity for these startups to showcase their innovative food technology solutions. As we can see, many of these startups are using fermentation technology to produce novel ingredients, as well as using waste streams to create value-added products. It will be exciting to see how these startups continue to evolve and disrupt the food industry in the years to come. Which food technology are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe for your daily food news. Be sure check out our other videos on food news and technology every day.